guys, it's Matt, Cody. As always, um, we're here actually at the Utah Museum of Contemporary Art with Maggie and Serena. They're kind enough to let us come through and give us a kind of personal tour and rundown of what's going on here. So um, we wanted to just highlight this new space that they've actually recently remodeled. They've gone through a rebrand and a remodel, correct? Mm -hmm. And what were what were you guys before and kind of explain what ten, or uh, what, why you wanted to take it a new direction and new brand and everything like that? Well, the previous director, um, it, it used to be called the Salt Lake Art Center. Okay. And um, it has been around since the 30s. And the previous director, he wanted to rebrand it and um, relate it to other museums. Salt Lake Art Center was a confusing name, especially for people who would come in. They would say, where can I buy my watercolor kits? Um, and so because we do exhibit contemporary art, he felt that the name change would help not only like give us familiarity with people coming in who are like, oh, a museum, contemporary art, I get it. Whereas um, before, it was kind of a confusing name, I feel, for a lot of visitors. Yeah. So explain to us a little bit about what happened with Remodel. What did this place look like before? They're going to kind of see some shots of everything. But uh, which, since we're in the remodeling business, it's kind of we always like to relate that back to it. And we'll hit one of the exhibits in there that kind of talks about uh, landscape taking over architecture, which is kind of cool for us, too. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, explain what it looked like so people can kind of have the vision of what's what they can expect if maybe they were here before and never have come back yet. Absolutely. Well, this entire lobby area was different. We had bookshelves. Um, there wasn't necessarily an art shop in here. It was mm -hmm. all just um, a bookstore. There was a huge desk over on that side, so there wasn't a lot of room. Mm -hmm. We have a new front desk here. People come in directly to the front. They know where to check in. Nice. We also used to have um, a resource library, which wasn't really utilized. I mean, people would come in and play on the computer a little bit. Yeah. So we decided to use that space for something more valuable and create a locals only gallery which features all local Utah artists. Awesome. That's in the first part of the museum as soon as you come in so locals really get to have a forefront in the museum. Awesome, awesome and yeah and one of the cool things too is they have like we're real big on the local thing and they have local art like small pieces for sale up in the front here which is awesome where people can apply online to sell some of their uh, pieces here so. You know we're all about spaces at Move Real Estate, yeah. you know functional spaces so you walk in here yeah, super open, lots of glass. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when we have our receptions, we like to fill the space with bodies and people who are coming in to look at the work. Yeah. yeah what that. kind of bodies? I see a sarcophagus. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, definitely check that out. Live bodies. Live bodies. Live yeah. <laughs> I might climb in it. I don't know if that's legal. But. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to the first exhibit. We'll go check it out real quick. Okay. So this is our Locals Only Gallery, which is dedicated to Salt Lake artists, and currently we're featuring David Ruhlman. And David Ruhlman works with different paintings that have like a palindrome of imagery, a kaleidoscope of imagery, where he takes these different animals that are metaphors for different parts about the earth and different apocalyptic times, and he puts them sort of in, like I said, a kaleidoscope or a symmetry of paintings. And so these are his wonderful pieces that he does, and you should get a close-up of this. A lot of his work is based on what happens post-apocalypse, and so you'll see animals that are crickets and birds, or something has an extra leg, or this person's growing out of a tree. It's, all kinds of crazy <laughs> stuff. it's pretty trippy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's great like stuff. It. Yeah, he's got wonderful work, and he's a self-taught artist, and so um, not traditionally educated, but also just equally as talented as any of our other artists. Yeah, I'm not traditionally educated either. So. <laughs> I am, so I like art. <laughs> I got lost in here when I, we first walked in. I mean, this is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah awesome. and what's great about this gallery is that it changes every couple of months. We focus on our locals, and we love our community and giving back. And so, yeah. you know, with the remodel and the addition of having this gallery instead of the library, it's allowed us to give back to our local community of artists even better. Yeah, and I like how you guys focus on, they said, putting the local artists right at the front here, so it's like the state, and instead of, mm -hmm. you know, if they have something coming from out of state or something, it's still mm -hmm. focusing on you keeping this the, the forefront of, yeah. of what people see, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the first awesome. one. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, let's check out the next one. So they're remodeling this section of the museum. Um, Redoing the July 5th. July 5th is, is the opening. We're gonna, they're going to have a opening a for, reception. yep, opening reception for um, the everything. The Titania, yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Say the name again. Gianni I can't Titania. pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what they I, mentioned. It's probably not Italian enough for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> so, this space will be all new pieces. Yeah. 
completely remodeled. When we came into this space, what really stood out to us about this, what, what this will be is um, landscape, uh, landscape taking over architecture, right? Absolutely. Which is kind of cool because we're super into architecture. Yeah. Um, I'm super into landscaping as well. So, because we're doing that in our home. So, um, this was one of the things at least that stood out. Yeah. I can't, I'll, be, I'll make sure I come back and check this out once yeah. it's out because these are all, we'll be still in bubble, bubble yeah. wrap. Yeah. 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 For sure. yeah, and there'll be different installations. So, the, the great thing about um, this space, it's a smaller space. You can be really more, more intimate, mm -hmm. but you can also build installations that are site specific while also showing work some of his previous works in photographic form. Nice. Um, and he's about 70 years old. I mean, this is this is a huge um, deal for us, too, to have him here. Yeah, because, for him, too. Yeah, yeah I mean, this, sure. is, this is a culmination of his life. Yeah. And you can see his yeah. work from beginning to finish. And we were speaking earlier that some of his greatest work, and probably where he started out, like really expanding out into the international scene, his work was started here in Utah. Some of his best work was done right here and then it expanded from there. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Affectionately known as the Salt Lake Trilogy. There Salt Lake Trilogy. Mm, <laughs> <there you go. laughs> yeah. Let's go check out some coffee. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the best part. <laughs>
areas for contemporary art, but now that's not their sole focus. We have a lot of great galleries in town who focus on contemporary art. But there's not like one collective place for everything to be. Yeah. Um, and we do have a large space so that we can actually offer a lot of stuff from internationally, from all over the world that we can bring in. Stuff that you would only be able to see if you're in New York or in LA. Yeah. And I mean, if you're coming into Utah and you're moving in from out of state, Here's a place for you to come so you yeah, can feel yeah. like you're at home. But also, we really want to focus on the local arts. Yeah. Um, we've had a new arts and residence program that opens up, so we have a studio space for them as well as um, professional tutoring, basically, um, and also work workshops. And um, we we just want to be a space where locals can come in, see art, be inspired by art, but also feature local art too. Awesome. Yeah. And then one of the last cool things I want to touch on, which we're gonna, you guys have uh, activities for kids and yes. adults sometimes here, yes. so yeah. we're actually yeah, gonna well, check that out. And exactly. Well, and since we're kids, we're gonna do the kid activity. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, you know, and that's another thing. It's like we have to educate the public about contemporary art. Yeah. It's kind. It can be kind of a scary thing when you first come in. You're like, well, I don't understand this. Yeah. So we like to start young, helping yeah. them understand contemporary art, giving them something tangible so they can make something based on something that's going on in our exhibitions. Yeah. But also we offer art talks and curator tours and workshops for adults to help them understand contemporary art as well. Mm -hmm. It's not as scary as you think it is, yeah. but once you get into it, it's you're really growing cool. brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty awesome. The brain is plastic. Let's keep expanding. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, that's so local artists, um, great art here, July, Fifth. Fifth. Mm -hmm. yep. Get down here, check it out. Matt and I will be here. Admission is free. Admission is free. Oh, is free. Which oh, is good. Yeah. Free is good. <laughs> so get down here July 5th. We'll be here walking through. Come check it out. It's really cool. A lot of great pieces here. Yeah. Have a staycation. We call it staycation. Staycation. Yeah. We do staycation. Yeah, the because they always say they say being local here, it, it, we were talking and you mentioned that. With being local, you don't usually go see the touristy things in your own mm -hmm. city. So what me and Cody do sometimes is what we call a staycation. We go cruise you know. Salt Lake. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. So. Go on that ghost tour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. I like it. What did you say that the thing, man? Oh yeah, when I forget to breathe, I have to do my shotgun. <laughs> I need to breathe.